So Graham, should we have a little chat about the Maharaja's Well then? Um, the Maharaja's okay. Well uh, is located in, in Stoke Grove in Oxfordshire. Yeah. Um, and it was erected in 1864, I believe. Y- yes, the well was erected. Well, well, yeah, well, itself. Yeah. Um, so as part of this exhibition, you can see that we've done a uh, short film on the Maharaja's Well. Um, and I wanted to go into a little bit more detail with you now uh, on it, because I know that you're a trustee of the well. Um, so... In terms of your sort of personal connection with it, when did you first come across the well? Well, I came across the well. I grew up about six miles away from the well in, okay. in Goring, um, and um, and I first came across a sign for the well right. when my mum learned to drive when I was age about five, age five, and pestered her to go and see the well. Uh-huh. Uh, and I probably saw it about a year later, age about six. Um, and the only point of reference I had for it was. Um, my picture book with the Taj Mahal so I I was quite confused by this and wondered <laughs> why the Stoke Row was actually in India. I was wondering if we can touch on the construction of the well. Um, yeah well so the, the, the well itself is, is um, it's, it's deceptive because um, you know it's it's a hole in the ground but it's a 368 foot hole in the ground so in, in, in terms of had that been built upwards that's mm. the top of the dome of um, St Paul's Cathedral so it's it's a really sub, a substantial um, endeavour. It was dug by hand. Um, it's narrow, so it was dug by an, an individual. To- a top of the um, uh, well is the uh, the machinery, and that was a vital element. That had to be redesigned. It was such a deep well. Mm-hmm. Um, there wasn't um, any existing um, you know machinery to actually. Uh, draw the pail up so that was um, designed by Reed himself specifically for the well if you were with uh, a local um, engineering firm Wilders and uh, that that design then actually went all over the world it was um, right. painted and went all over the world so um, it's quite a feat of engineering mm. um, you know we see the canopy and the canopy come a little bit afterwards but we see the canopy and uh, we think of that as the moral as well but really it's the you know it's what's below yeah so in terms of coming back to sort of modern day, how is the well looked after now? Originally the well was looked after by Edward Anderton Reed as the trustee on behalf of Maharaj of Well, uh, Maharaj of, uh, Maharaj of Benares. Um, the, the well um, is now um, looked after by a, a board of trustees, which as you said I'm, I'm one. Oh, so that's the, um, uh, that's the, the current, we, we act as a collective Reed. Thank you so much for that, Graham. It was so enlightening. No, thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to discuss um, Anglo-Indian architecture uh, in general and the, um, the well in particular. Thanks a lot, Anishka.